video and all the videos coming, I will be using less music because I got copyrighted. Though I use an app and I always use the same songs. So today I'm making fried tilapia. I made it two weeks ago so the kids really loved it. I don't really usually do fried fish. So I bought that on Sunday at BJ's and I'm gonna season that with one lime. I'm making a homemade green seasoning which today I'm doing parsley, cilantro, half and white onion, three cloves of garlic, one weary pepper, well weary weary pepper salt pepper or I might use slap your mama for that and then I'm gonna make black beans today with half a um, red onion two cloves of garlic a little bit of pimento one weary pepper and one tomato and I'm going to use my oil I made a few weeks ago and then I'll cook that up with white rice on the side and salad Tuesday's dinner, black beans with white rice and fried tilapia. On Wednesday, I went to Lido's and Audi's. I got a compost bin for the counter. Um, I got a few other garden stuff and I got a kiwi plant from Lido's. And then I got some meats from both stores. Um, from I think it was from Audi's. It was 30% off for some of the chicken. Um, the turkey was on sale too. I don't know if I got that at Lido's. I threw out the receipts, to be honest, and I don't remember. But I got chicken thighs, two chicken thighs, one from Lido's, one from Aldi's. And this is all the groceries that I bought from Aldi's and Lido's. And this is all the Greek stuff that I got at Lidl's. I did want to get the gyro kit, but they didn't have it. So I got everything here to make the gyros. And I got these tulips, which were 30% off. When I went to Lidl's today, I wanted to buy the gyro kit, which I bought in the past before. And I think I posted last year the gyro kit that I've got from Lidl's and Costco, but Lidl's gyro kit was way better. Either which way, it was sold out, they didn't have it, 
but I was lucky to find this gyro spice. So I'm going to um, kind of do like a chicken Slovakia. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna cut these up into cubes, season with a few cloves of garlic, lemon juice, this gyro seasoning, and olive oil and put that in the refrigerator for a few hours and then I'll cook that later on. Uh, probably bake it in the oven and then put it under the broiler for a little while. I'm gonna bake the chicken at 400 Fahrenheit. Not measuring, but I would say probably like, I'm gonna put probably a cup of the yogurt. No, this is probably two cups, maybe a cup and a half, two cups. Okay, I would say that's two cups. Gonna put garlic. I put the olive oil, maybe I should have left it out. <laughs> okay, a little olive oil, feeling organized. A little olive oil. And then I'm gonna mix this. Actually, no, I wanna add this first. Enough for now, because I don't know how salty it is. And I might add some dried dill, depending. I'm gonna try it first. So let me just mix this. I can add a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna add some dough. Wait, that tastes much better. Now I'm gonna cut the cucumber and add it inside. so I don't have to actually use this. Okay, so my oven's actually preheated right now at 425. That's what I'm cooking the chicken in. So I'm going to lower the temperature and I'm going to put this in in about maybe five, 10 minutes and cook it for 30 minutes or so. Wednesday's dinner was a chicken gyro, homemade tzatziki sauce, and a baked um, Greek-style phyllo spinach wrap from Lidl's. Today's Thursday. I'm doing slow-cooked tacos. I was going to do um, Berea tacos. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not good at pronouncing some words. Um, so I have a cut of beef, and um, I actually forgot. I think it was Chuck. I have to check the trash bin now because I just threw it out. So I have Chuck, and then I have, um, I think, a flank or something I bought a few weeks ago that was in the freezer. So I'm going to slow cook this 
First, I'm actually gonna braise it. Then I'm gonna slow cook it with all these other ingredients for maybe two or three hours. Um, it's not really taco barilla or barilla taco because I don't have the chipotle or the other chilies. I had a hard time finding them and I didn't want to drive to a neighboring town to go get them. So I have frozen chilies that I bought a few months ago and then these are frozen from my garden in the summer. I actually don't even know what kind of chilies they are. But I have to like look back at my old videos to see. So I'm going to add these chilies, um, one pimento, two weary peppers. Um, these are not that hot. None of these are really that hot. And I also feel like every time I put any chili inside the freezer, they become more mild. Um, like they, they lose your spice. I don't know if that's just me. Hi. Okay, here's my little mama. So we're going to do one onion, two tomatoes, a little cilantro, maybe two or three... Um, cubes of bu bouillon okay hold on one second and then i have a few spices i'll tell you really fast i have a stick of um cinnamon a small stick i have um a few pieces of bay leaf i have uh, coriander seeds about a tablespoon that i crushed a tablespoon of cumin um, a tablespoon of paprika a pinch of salt because i imagine the bouillon cubes i don't want to add too much salt I had about a heaping tablespoon of, of um, oh, I'm sorry, maybe two heaping tablespoons of chili powder. What else did I add in here? Oh, and one uh, tablespoon of oregano. I actually forgot. Oh, and a pinch of allspice. You see, I should have wrote everything down. So that's basically everything that I'm going to add to my mix today to do my slow cooked tacos. So when I went food shopping, um, I meant to buy flour tortillas, like the mini ones, and corn tortillas, but it turns out I bought two corn, white corn and yellow corn. I'm not going to use both of them, so I'm going to freeze one, I'm not sure which one, and because I'm also making yellow rice, I think it would be a waste to open both. So um, yeah, I have to pay more attention when I go food shopping, because I just looked at the color, I didn't read any label until now. But yeah, so... But anyways, they should be good. I'm going to heat them up on the tawa to make them soft. They got a little caramelized and I don't know if you see the burn bits from the um, searing the meat. Those are going to come up when I add water, but you really want to keep that. So don't clean your pan after cooking the meat because that's going to add flavor to your um, stock, your broth or the liquid that the beef's going to be cooked in. So I added four garlic cloves. Um, I crushed them. I didn't cut them. Um, I added a pimento, cut, you know, kind of cut it roughly up. I didn't, I didn't, you know, get all fancy with it. It doesn't make a difference because it's going to slow cook, so everything's kind of going to break down anyway. Um, I kept these whole, and I'm just going to cook this down for like another two to three minutes. Then I add in the tomatoes, um, the spices, and the water, and then I'll add the meat back in. cups of water and I'm just gonna bring this kind of up to a boil um, until the tomatoes cook down and disintegrate then I add about three to four cups of liquid or water and then I'm gonna add the meat back with the cilantro I have about half a cup no I'm sorry maybe one fourth of a cup of cilantro 
I'm gonna add into this. My daughter is trying to help me. Sorry for her yelling. So I'm gonna um, do all that and then I'll come back in a few minutes. So I did add a tablespoon of onion and garlic powder just now. I'm gonna add a little more water. Everything has basically cooked down and now I'm gonna add the meat in and add a few more cups of water and the cilantro. I, don't know if you, I feel like the light's not good, but I don't know if you can see, it's actually, it's red. Mm. I also started cooking rice here, which is just one pack of sasson. I'm running out of my sasson, soon gonna be done. One fourth teaspoon of turmeric, garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper, and that's it. And then I'm going to add water and I might add a little of um, green sofrito, like a tablespoon of the Goya brand that's already store bought. So I have some in the refrigerator that has to be used up. So this is coming to a boil. I'm going to cover it now. And I really wish you guys can see the red because it's really red. <laughs> but my lighting really does suck. I'm like, and I did try to use a gray spoon because that was the lightest utensil I had. It did no justice. You still can't see the coloring, it looks brown. So anyways, I'm gonna cover this and let this cook for an hour to two, depending on how long it takes for the meat to start breaking down where I can shred it. a little water to the broth because it became too concentrated so I don't want it that thick you kind of want it watery so I just did one cup and then I'll just do seasoning if need be so I'm just gonna continue doing this so this is the broth why well, she keeps saying broth this is like I guess the soup the liquid from cooking the beef I did puree it I added one cup of water reheated it because it was kind of thick I don't know if you can see the color So I'm gonna add, I have like two ladles left in the pot and I'm gonna add that to the beef because I don't want the beef to be too dry. So this is the beef, I shredded all of it. And I'm just gonna add a ladle. I actually had three ladles, maybe like two and a half. I'm gonna add that to that, moisten it up. And now I'm gonna start making the toppings for my slow cooked beef tacos. And Thursday's dinner is slow cooked beef with yellow corn tacos, Mexican cheese, red onions, and cilantro. Today for dinner is Philly cheese steaks with provolone cheese. And I got jelly rolls. I might just use one pack, I'm not sure. I got two packets of um, cube steak. I'm gonna cut that thin. One onion, one bell pepper, one garlic clove, and then I'm gonna do seasoned french fries, probably baked in the oven. My kids won't like it, but I don't really feel like frying, and my air fryer is too small to be here for a whole hour just cooking a batch of fries. So it's probably gonna be cooked in the oven, because that's the easiest. <laughs> two onions and two bell peppers because I do have more bell peppers but my children don't really like bell peppers that much but I feel like Philly cheesesteak needs bell peppers and onions so I'm doing one of each for the flavor and just salt and pepper and I'm going to caramelize this the onions right now then I'm going to take the onions out of caramelizing cook the peppers
So I finished cooking the onions and the peppers and the one clove of garlic. I'm also finished cutting the beef very thin. I'm going to cook this on high heat. I put one tablespoon of oil in there and just season with salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add the onions and peppers back with the beef and then I'll start um, preparing the sandwiches. I did toast the breads in the oven and I put a little mayo on the bread as well. Friday's dinner, seasoned french fries and homemade Philly cheesesteaks with provolone cheese. Saturday's dinner is turkey lasagna. And I'm not cutting up onion or garlic. I'm just gonna use a few spices I put together, which is a tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of parsley, tablespoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a tablespoon of salt. I had the lasagna bacon at 325, but I had to go out to get my son, which is only a few minute drive, not even 10 minutes, but my oven I think has to be calibrated correctly because it wasn't even in there for like 35 minutes. But the lasagna is done. I might make a salad on the side, but this is Saturday's dinner, turkey lasagna. For Sunday, I'm making Trinidadian curry chicken or kind of Trinidadian because I am going to use a little bit of this to season the chicken as well. And just white rice. I was going to do curry chicken, a recipe from the cookbook that I'm featuring on my blog, but um, I decided not to. I want to just do this. I'll probably do that next week or I might do another recipe from that book, but I am going to do a recipe for sure, at least one or two in the coming week. And then also I'm going to show you guys what I did to my garden earlier today and what I'll be doing later on as well. Inside the bowl is two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Inside of here I have half a teaspoon of tamarack, 
a tablespoon and a half of the Madras curry powder, a tablespoon and a half of the duck goat curry powder. I'm going to add water, make a paste, and then I'm going to fry it in oil. So I'm just going to cook down the chicken with no water added yet for about 10 to 15 minutes till the chicken's cooked and it gets a little color. I forgot I had curry leaves so I'm going to add them now. So I did add about 5 potatoes peeled and cut in there as well and I cooked it for about 20 minutes on the medium heat. Sunday's dinner is curry chicken with white rice and salad on the side. So this is how it looked earlier today before we all did a cleanup. We had the whole family outside doing a cleanup. I bought seven bags of soil, a few plants. Um, so I just want to show you a little bit of what I'll be doing in my garden videos. But I plan on doing a separate video per week um, aside from this video in a separate playlist. But these, are, So this is how it looks after. And these are my plants. This is that shelf that we bought at um, Aldi's a few weeks ago. My husband and me decided that we wanted to... Uh, change the color so he's staining it for me at the moment and that should be probably done in two days because he wants to do a second coat he said so these are all the perennials i have a side that's all i have a side of my garden that's just for flowers that's a little that's a lavender tulips don't know the name of that i planted it last year i have a new kiwi plant that i bought at Lidl's. It's meant for zone seven. So I'll see how that grows. If I get anything this year, maybe next year. This is my raspberry. That's my rose bush. My strawberry. My Cuban thyme that I uh, took from out inside to plant it outside spinach then i have two eggplant two different types of tomatoes this is my blueberry and i plan on planting a lot more i have a few seeds that i bought today as well i also got sunflowers which i tried to plant last year but they didn't grow in the past, I've been successful with sunflowers, so hopefully they grow. This is chives that I planted last year, grew back. This is some cilantro. This is mint that I planted when I first moved here. I actually brought it in a pot from where I used to live. And then down there, I'm going to plant more vegetables in the coming weeks. But I just wanted to show you a little bit so you know what to look out for. And then in the next coming videos after this are stuff that I planted last year and grew, which was bitter gourd eggplant tomatoes and a whole bunch of other stuff i didn't log that much last year as i wanted to but this year i will do that's more. my cucumber that i grew from seeds marigolds which i'm gonna buy that's the zucchini i grew from seed dill parsley and all those were from seeds so i have to get more seeds and i sometimes i go to dollar tree for seeds and they grow just as well as seeds that are like three or four dollars 
Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. And look out for my garden videos and a separate playlist.